in the headlines of continues activities in celebration of the 20th anniversary of the century run Kansas City in conjunction with the party founding anniversary and the new spring 2024 outlined. The Counter Sports and Tourism Ministry has approved the decision to enact the Vietnam Tourism Marketing Strategy for 2030. The gathering on the 113th International Women's Day and the 1983rd Uprising of the Drunk Sisters. Hello and it's good to see you back here in this edition of Continuous and Top News today. The plan of organizing activities in celebration of the 20th anniversary of the century run Kansas City, January 1, 2004, January 1, 2024, in conjunction with the party founding anniversary and the new spring 2024, was outlined on March 6. Activities must be held in solemn and thrift manners, as noticed by Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee, Trung Vik Trung. The plan has four main contents, including activities in the lead-up to the celebrations and New Year, events in celebration of the 20th anniversary of the Century Run Kansas City, and activities in celebration of the party founding anniversary and the New Year in the spring. Typically, there will be an investment promotion meeting, the production of a documentary film on the 20th year achievements of the Century Run Kansas City, the publication of the yearbook entitled 30 Years of Building and Developing Kansas City, along with many countless music sports activities to be held from now to January 2024. Chairman Trung Vi Trung underlined that this is a very important event that marks the milestone of development of the city. Therefore, the plan needs a close combination and detailed assignment among units. Focusing on developing and proclaiming the city's DDCI index in 2023 is the request made by Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Trung Vi Trung and a scientific workshop team soliciting feedback to complete Kansas City's DDCI investigation form taking place on March 6 morning. The chairman also requested the city's Social Economic Institute to receive feedback and complete the evaluation set of DDCI of Kansas City in 2023, specifically departments, sectors, and districts focus their directions on synchronously carrying out tasks, solutions, receiving and timely solving difficulties encountered by businesses, combining with the city's Social Economic Institute to offer data alongside boosting administrative reform, technological application, building the e-governance and digital transformation, and finally speed up the disseminating the DDCI index among cooperatives, businesses, households. The Counter Sports and Tourism Ministry has approved the decision to enact the Vietnam Tourism Marketing Strategy for 2030. Under the strategy, Vietnam aims to receive 35 million international arrivals by 2030 and get a growth speed of between 13 and 15%. Also under the strategy, there will be 160 million domestic arrivals with a growth speed of domestic tourism at between 4 and 5 percent a year. The slogan of Vietnamese tourism is still Vietnam Tablet's Champ for the international tourism market and Vietnam the Endless Beauty for the domestic tourism market. Also under the new strategy, Vietnamese tourism will head towards consolidating, raising the understanding, concern, and satisfaction with Vietnamese tourist destinations, as certain Vietnamese tourism is an attractive, good quality, and sustainable destination. Continuing supervising the implementation of policies and law on energy development in 2016-2021 phase in Kansas City, on March 6 morning, Kansas City's National Assembly Delegation and the head of Deputy Chief of Kansas City's National Assembly Delegation, Dao Yingye, came to work at Kansas City's Electricity Company. As reported in the 2016 to 2021 phase, Kansas City's Electricity Company always ensured a safe and stable supply of power and continual service for the social economic development demand in the city. Its commercial electricity output increases year after year, whereas the rate of power loss was controlled. Regarding the development of the rooftop solar energy system, the rooftop solar energy productivity has reached more than 81.4 megawatts 
over 76 megawatts higher than the set plan. At the working session, leaders of the electricity company proposed the city assist the electricity sector in revoking land to conduct power projects in Gaudá and Phong Đình suburban districts, proposed the National Assembly and government soon enact policies related to the development of recycled energy source to serve as the foundation for the following phase. Deputy Chief of Gangta City's National Assembly Delegation Dao Jingye acknowledged the results recorded by the company while requesting the company to make a general report on its opinions and detailed proposals and send to the city's National Assembly Delegation. Kansas City's military headquarters they just held the gathering on the 113th International Women's Day and the 1983 uprising of the Trung Sisters. Over the last few years, cadres and members of the women's unions of the city's military headquarters have always tried to study make efforts and promote nice qualifications of Vietnamese women and tried to carry out the campaign of promoting traditions, dedicate talents to deserve alcohol soldiers, where fulfilled movements launched by Vietnam Women's Union and the city women's union contributing to well carrying out military and defensive tasks. In the meantime, the Women's Union of Kansas City's military headquarters organized the launch of a special emulation phase to celebrate the 30th traditional anniversary of the Army Women, March 10, 1993, March 10, 2023. On the same day, the city's military headquarters organized a contest to introduce the hometown and people of Kanto and the gathering on International Women's Day. A Vietnamese Thai goods and food fair on the International Women's Day was opened at Cantor Investment Trade Promotion and Exhibition Fair Center, number 108A, Lê Lợi Street, KK Walsh, Ninh Kiều Upper District, Cantor City, on March 6 afternoon. The fair is held by Team Vic Advertising and Promoting Dostock Company from March 6 to 12, 2023, and opens freely to visitors. With 300 pavilions of 200 businesses, the fair displays and introduce products imported from Thailand and Vietnamese products. The highlight of the fair is a section that displays and introduces folk cake making art, intending to glorify artisans and laborers who contribute to preserving and promoting the folk cake making craft of the nation. Besides, the Vietnamese Thailand delicious food section is also the attraction of the fair. Also during the fair, there are other activities such as trade promotion, karaoke singing, the ritual section on the Women's Day, music performance, and mini scenery section on Japanese culture. Hoàng Văn Thổ Park from Nhị Kiều Bridge to Soviet Nghệ Tịnh Bridge in Angkor Wat, Ninh Kiều Upper District, Kansas City has been degraded for a long time. From late 2022, Ninh Kiều Upper District's Urban Management Chamber has begun upgrading the park, which has just been completed and put into use. Four stations of Hoàng Văn Thổ Park have been upgraded, including upgrading the park, planting green trees, installing lights, and building a key for tourist boats. The total cost of the project is 7 billion Vietnam dong earmarked from the budget. The project not only contributes to creating beauty on this route, but also particularly celebrates the 48th Southern Liberation National Reunification and May Day. From March 6, all commercial stock banks lowered the deposit interest rates by 0.5% a year, a move that is expected to have reduced lending rates and support businesses. Accordingly, the loan interest rate at all commercial joint stocks banks stands at under 9.5% per year. For groups of state-owned commercial banks like Vietcom Bank, Vietin Bank, BIDV and Agribank, the deposit interest rate usually stands at 7.4% per year at the highest. The interest rate can be higher if clients send their deposits online or if they are prioritized clients. In the last minutes, let's look at the updated weather forecast.
the updated weather forecast. Don't so wrap up this edition of Kent News. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, kentotv.vn. And thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.